We start in Singapore, where voting in the general election begins this morning. About 2.6 million citizens will cast their ballots in over 1,000 polling stations. COVID-19 means voters have been asked to wear masks and gloves. Sample counts are expected soon after polls close at 8 p.m. local time. And the full makeup of the next parliament is likely to be known by early Saturday morning. Mira Lu tells us about the big issues and the leading candidates. Amongst the candidates is the nation's Deputy Prime Minister Heng Sui Kit, the man tipped to succeed Prime Minister Lee Sien Long when he steps down. In a surprise move, DPM Heng left his stronghold of nine years to face off against the main opposition Workers' Party in an important and hotly contested constituency. It is a big risk to move you know, the Prime Minister in waiting you know, from his safe seat uh, you know, to a seat you know, that has traditionally been known to be one of the weakest multi-member uh, seat for the ruling party. The news that really stirred apart was the decision of Prime Minister Lee's younger brother, Lee Sien Yang, joining the Progress Singapore Party, or PSP. However, he chose not to run, as he believes Singapore doesn't need another Lee in the government. It boils down to how the public perceives you know, Mr. Lee Sien Yang on, on the campaign trail. You know, do they see him as a divisive figure? The coming general election will be a watershed. But if Mr. Lee Sien Yang is seen as someone who, whose message is credible, you know, that indeed he's, he's able to point to what is wrong with the ruling party, uh, then obviously, you know, his being on the campaign trail will be a tremendous boost, you know, to the, to the PSP. Meanwhile, as a result of COVID-19 and its economic impact, Immigration and jobs have become a hot-button issue this year, with most parties calling for reducing dependency on foreign labour. Other issues being discussed include setting up a minimum wage for Singaporeans and delaying a proposed tax hike. The ruling party saw its vote share fall to 60.1% in the 2011 elections, but rebounded to 69.9% of the vote in 2015. Miru Lu, CGTN, Singapore.